Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the IROC series presented by More Freedom Trucking. Today we have traveled to the Michigan International Speedway for IROC Michigan. This is going to be race number seven in the IROC series season three. And with two races left to go in this season, let's go through your current points. Your points leader is the 96 of Nico. Second will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Third will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Fourth will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Fifth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Sixth will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Seventh will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Eighth will be the 25 of JTM. Ninth will be the 49 of Jetman. And rounding out your field will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. No team points here in the IROC series. So they're going to start packing these crowd in for this 20 laps here today at Michigan. I think it's about time. So let's go racing. As they get these cars fired up and going, let's go through your starting lineup today. Starting on the pole will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. On his outside, the 96 of Nico. Starting third will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. And on her outside, the 13 of King of the Aces. Starting fifth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber, and on his outside, the 07 of Douche Baggins. Starting seventh will be the 23 of Fuller Than You, and on his outside, the 49 of Jetman. Starting ninth will be the 25 of JTM, and rounding out the field will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. So we're going to see what these drivers can do here at Michigan. High-speed track, most likely high-speed track here, and we're going to see if they can... What, the, what they got? What they got going on here with these Vipers? See what they can do. Uh, I think they did pretty well at Daytona. So two, two mile sort of oval here at Michigan. It should be, like I said, it should be pretty high speed. We'll see how they handle that. We'll see what everybody does. And I'm looking forward to this race as the 40 of Veteran Chaos is going to be leading us down to take the green flag here today. With Nico on his outside and G3 right behind him. Nico fighting for that championship. He is ahead of Geek Girl Games right now by about 21 points. Waiting for that green flag to come out. It is out. We are underway here at Michigan. Coda was already trying to jump out to the outside of the 96 of Nico. There on lap before the start finish line. Nico's trying to get his car wound up and going as he's going to power around the outside of the three of Geek Girl Games. He's going to drop it down to the inside, try to get a draft, a little bit of a run here on the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So Nico down to the inside already. No, Vet able to keep that car out there to the lead right now. So Vet has pushed the 40 out to the lead here on lap number one. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. I always say that, but here in the IROC series, only 10 drivers, so they'll all be on the left-hand side as we watch the 13 of King of the Aces on the outside of the 96 of Nico. So it looks like the outside line possibly is better through one and two and the low line through three and four. I don't know yet. We're going to figure it out as the 40 of Veteran Chaos still leads the way. Again, no teams here in the IROC series, identical cars, but Vet running for Kager Racing rough go last week as he was running out of gas last lap in the More Freedom series, had to pit, ended up finishing a lap down. As we watch the 13, the King of the Aces, who is looking for a win, trying to put himself back to the top of these standings. He's falling to fifth right now as he led for a couple races there. We see lots of battling back here. The 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, who started dead last on the field, has now worked around her More Freedom Series teammate, the three of Geek Girl Games. That's going to put her into the fifth position right now. That's the 49 of Jetman to the outside as well on the three of Geek Girl Games right now. Getting a little bit of a draft help by the 329 of Heck of a Duber. We'll jump back up here to the front of the field as we watch the 13 of King of the Aces down to the inside of the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So battle for the lead here on lap number four. That outside line is the line so far. As we watch Coda 
Getting down to the inside. We're going to see if Nico gets a good run here on the 07 of Douche Baggins. He might be able to get a good run here on the 13 of King of the Aces. The 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, again, who started way back in last position, has now worked herself into the fifth position. She might be able to get a the draft here on the 96 of Nico, maybe able to put him a lap or put him back to the fifth position. She definitely needs to get ahead of Nico if she is going to have a run for the points at the end of the year with only this race and the next to go. So DB down to the inside of Coda right here as they head into turn one. Again, that low line not as fast as the high line here at Michigan. So we're going to see if Nico pulls to the outside of that 0-7. He doesn't. He's dropping it down to the inside. He's going to get some draft by the 90, the 3-5-6 and the 49. Three wide is the 3-5-6. Woo, so close to being three wide with the 96, the 3-5-6, and the 0-7. Nico is working down to the inside here onto the front stretch. He's going to get the draft of the 07. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to make a pass here on that 40 of Veteran Chaos. He's way high through one and two. They are letting off the gas way down there at the bottom, and they're losing that momentum. So I think it's going to have to be a around the outside, around the outside kind of deal here as we watch the 96 does swing to the outside of the 07 of Douche Baggins. He's going to follow along with the 13 of King of the Aces right here. We're going to see if he gets a little bit. He is going to the outside still. I thought he was going to jump to the outside on Coda there and try to make that pass as we see the 40 of Vetric Chaos is way up there. He's got this line that he's driving here today at Michigan that starts way high in, in one. It comes way down to the bottom through the middle of one and two which I think is working really well for him as we watch the 96 down to the inside of the 13. Again, that low line is just eating up the cars as they try to make those passes. So as we inch closer to halfway here, Vet has got a stranglehold on the lead and just is not willing to give it up here as I mean I I wouldn't be either but we watch that 356 of ice cream some days who desperately needs to get around this 96 of Nico again she's about 28 points behind Nick in the points championship and really he is as I always say in the catbird seat as far as the points go He's looking for his second IROC Series championship, trying to, he's had a rough go this season in the More Freedom Series, in the More Freedom Series, and he's definitely looking for a win here in the IROC Series again this season. He won it last season as he swings high to the outside here. I'm not sure if that would give him a little bit of momentum on the 13 at King of the Aces. He's gonna to try to make it three wide with a three, five, six. He is able to power down to the inside as we see that 49 of Jetman working down to the inside. And I'm not sure if he's going to be able to make this pass here on the 13. DB to the outside. Here comes the three of Geek Girl Games as well. So they are able to keep their momentum to the outside as we see it three wide back there with the 25 and the 329. So Nico is going to go from third to four, fifth in one single lap after losing it, after working down to the inside, trying to get around the 13 and King of the Aces. So G3 working to the outside possibly of that 07. No, she's gonna make it three wide right now. Oh, she slips up high and back to the back bumper of the 13 and King of the Aces. That was almost a three wide battle right there between the three, 13, the three and the 07. The 96 is desperately trying to get around that 07. It is just not looking good for him here. He's gonna lose that position. He's gonna fall behind the three and the 356 now. So Nico was looking to try to keep the try to build on his lead, is now gonna lose parts of that lead to the 356. 
and the three. And riding in fourth right now in the points is the 07 of Dush Baggins. So DB, who won season one of the IROC series, he's looking for uh, another series win here today, or this season. But Vet still leads us here as we work lap number 13. Fastest lap of the day right now is going to be by the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days at 208.213 miles per hour. So a very, very high speed here today for these Vipers as they work through the turn three and four at Michigan. Check back through this field as we do see that 96 of Nico has now fallen back to the seventh position in front of his more Freedom Series teammate, 25 of JTM. Hanging out in the back of the pack right now is at 23 of Fuller Than You. So they're getting racy up here at the front. The 13 of King of the Aces is really doing everything he can right now to try to work around that 40 of Veteran Chaos. The 07 of Douche Baggins is working to the outside of the three of Geek Girl Games right now. The 356 of Ice Cream Someday is working to her inside. We got it three wide into turn one. Precarious situation. G3 through the middle right there. She's gonna keep that third position over the 07 of Douche Baggins, but the 49 of Jetman powers to the outside right there. He's gonna work to the back bumper of the 07. As we watch the 96 of Nico to the outside, he's three wide right now with the 329 and the 356. He's falling, he's into the gray up there at the top. So Nico, who started second on the day, has now fallen all the way back to the back of the pack right here with just about four laps to go. The 356 of Ice Cream Some Days trying to make a run back to the back bumper of that 40 or the 49 of Jetman as we watch Jetman working down to the inside of the 07. Saw Coda scrape the wall a little bit right there. So not sure if th that, I don't think that affected him at all, but he did get a little scrape on the wall as we watch DB dropping down to the middle there between himself. Sorry, between the 13 and the three. So just a couple laps to go here at Michigan. Your leader on the track, still that 40 of Veteran Chaos. They are just doing everything they can right now to try to make passes. As we've seen, that bottom line just doesn't have what it takes to make those passes. As Vet, who currently resides in the last in the points, could be a great points day for him. I think we're gonna get the one to go symbol, or one to go symbol, the one to go flag next time around as we see that 96 of Nico has now got to the back bumper of the 329. King of the Aces is trying to, he, I, I think this is the first pass that anybody has tried to do on Vet. He is not gonna make that pass. He's gonna lose possibly two, maybe more positions here. As the white flag is out, one lap to go for the 40 of Veteran Chaos. The 49 of Jetman making it three wide right now between himself and the 13 of King of the Aces. So DB trying to play spoiler here to that 40 of Veteran Chaos as they work down the backstretch. G3 into the third position. Her teammate in the More Freedom Series, the 356 of Ice Cream, some days to the outside of the 13 of King of the Aces. I believe that Vet is going to pull off this flag to flag win here today. So he's coming down to the stripe. He's going to be your winner here at Michigan. So Vet flag the flag here at Michigan takes the win. And we're gonna see what the remainder of this field looks like. Cause it's gonna be close, I think, in the points after this race. So let's go through your finishing order. Your winner again, that 40 of Veteran Chaos. Second's gonna be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Third will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Fourth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. 
Fifth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Sixth will be the 49 of Jetman. Seventh will be the 96 of Nico. Eighth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Ninth will be the 25 of JTM. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. So our last race here in the IROC series will be on November 4th for IROC Talladega. So that should be an exciting end to the season here in the IROC series. And let's check in on your points going into that final race. You're seeing those here on the screen. Again, congratulations today to the 40 of Veteran Chaos. He is your winner here at Michigan for IROC Michigan. And until Friday, back here for the More Freedom Series, take care.